Hi, in today's video, all about saving time when you're preparing lessons and how Snagit can help you to do just that. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know I'm a huge fan of Snagit and Camtasia, both by TechSmith, and they have kindly offered to sponsor this video. And in today's video, I will show you a couple of things I do within Snagit to really save time whenever I'm creating lesson materials. And so let's jump into Snagit. Here I have Snagit open, and as you can see, I've already prepared a single image which is an image of a Bengal tiger. Now this lesson is about tigers, and so I'm going to be taking some screenshots from different websites and creating lesson materials. This image is from Pexels. It's a great website. I would highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for some amazing imagery that you can use in your classroom. Now at its core, Snagit is all about screenshots. So let's go ahead and take our first couple of screenshots. Now here you can see where I got that image. This is Pexels. And I just want to say thank you to Capri 23 Auto. It's a beautiful image. Thank you for that. We're going to jump onto the website, National Geographic. There's a lot of information here that I would like to use with my students. But as you can see, scrolling down, we have some advertisement here for chocolate. And then as we scroll down, we have more advertisement, a lot of things I don't necessarily need in my lesson materials. Now I do want to use this little card here. So it shows you the common name, scientific name, and also it gives you some stats about its red list status. So at the moment it's endangered and the current population trend for Bengal tigers is decreasing. Now I want to use this box in my lesson material. So let's go ahead and pull up Snagit to take a screenshot. I'm going to open up Snagit and now I can highlight the section I want to take a screenshot of. I want this area right here. So I'm going to just simply highlight this area as I want to use this and release. And there we go. We now have this image. It's in Snagit. And now I'm going to clean it up and improve it for use in the classroom. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down, this crop, and add a little bit more space to the bottom. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to cite my sources. And so I want to make sure that everyone knows that this image was pulled from the National Geographic website. So let's go ahead and type that here. We're going to add a little text box and we're going to say source National Geographic and we can adjust the font size as well as the font style. So let's just leave it at that and let's select a black color and drag it to the right. And another thing that would look good, I think, is maybe have that National Geographic logo there. So let's go back to our website and let's take a screenshot of the logo. So let's take again this preview window. We're going to highlight this area because we want that logo. And we now have it in our Snagit editor. Let's right click on the image, copy and pop it onto our document. Now, as I move things around, you'll see the crop automatically adjusts. So that's not a problem. I'm going to scroll this down. I'm going to minimize this, move it a little bit. And then we can move that text a bit more to the left. Now let's jump into what is possibly my second favorite feature of Snagit after the Simplify tool, and that is moving things around. Yes, you can take this screenshot and you can move stuff around. We're going to go to the top to this toolbar and you will see there is a move tool. Now, most people assume that this is just to move items around their screen. Well, we can click on move and we can select smart move on the right hand side. Now, when you activate smart move, it's going to interpret and identify all the movable objects on your page and then automatically turn these into movable boxes. So now that's been done, I can start moving text and images around. So here, for example, I want to take that text at the bottom where it says current population trend decreasing and I want to move it up so it's more visual at the top. So let's just simply click on that and we can now move this up or around the page. Automatically, that gap is filled in. You can do this for anything on your screen. So here, let's say that I want to move these images to the right. Well, I can always click on that image and then move it to the other side of this person. You can see the image can be moved around. So this is how you can really speed up turning screenshots into lesson materials. Now, another thing you can do with this is change the text altogether. 
So for example, here it says size relative to a six foot man. My school uses the metric system. And so I'm going to jump quickly onto Google. We're going to do a quick search, six foot in centimeters. Okay, we see that's 182 centimeters. So I can go back into the Snagit editor, go ahead and change that. We're going to change it from six foot into 182 centimeters. And then we're going to adjust the fonts to match the original. So let's just increase that size. There we go. And let's try to closely match the font as well. Here we go. Now this way, obviously the fonts will change and the size of the fonts, but this way you can quickly tweak the information on the website to really match your classroom and your school demographic. Now, another thing I can do is pull in an additional image. So let's go back to that first image I had here. I like this one. Let's copy it and of course, resize the image. So it matches my original document. Let's bring that over here. We can always click down here to fit the screen and then here we go. So we now have our updated screenshot, a new image. We've changed some of the text. We moved some of the elements around and we've added our source at the bottom. Now let's highlight some of the information. So it's really clear to our students what we want them to pay attention to. So let's say that I want them to really pay attention to the fact that this is a carnivore. Well, then I can highlight that. How do I do that? By using a special magnify tool. Here at the top, you'll see we have favorites, arrows, lots of tools. And when we click on more, we see even more tools. However, the one I'm looking for is not in this list. And so I'm going to customize my toolbar. We're going to click on customize toolbar. And the one I'm looking for is magnify. Simply click, hold this and drag it up to your own toolbar. From now on, you have access to this tool. So let's click on done and let's use magnify. Magnify gives us a number of options of theming that we can use. I'm going to use the demo theme and a circle shape. Let's go with the ellipse. I'm going to highlight this carnivore, this word carnivore right there. As you can see, it is highlighting it and I can move this box around to then make it even clearer what that says. This is now zooming into that area and really highlighting that word. You can use this for text, images, numbers, anything you want to highlight or magnify for your students. For example, if I wanted to magnify this area of the photograph, I could do the same thing. Use this tool, simply select what I want to highlight. And then here I have my image, which highlights that section and magnifies it. Incredibly useful. And again, you can also customize these properties. So here I can magnify it, say, 250% or more, and it will automatically adjust that box. For now, I'm going to leave that as it was, only highlight the word carnivore, and let's say that I'm ready to share this with my students. Well, I can save this, I can export this image however I want. So let's go ahead and save this as an image. So we're going to go to the top, file, save as, and we can now title our image. I'm going to title this image, Tiger Lesson One. So let's just go ahead and name this Tiger Lesson One and click on save. That image is completed. I've used my screenshots, moved some elements around, changed some of the text, and I've magnified some of the elements. Let's go ahead and see what that image looks like. Here we have Tiger Lesson One. The image is ready to be shared on your class website via email or any way you want. You can even print this and distribute it in the class. You can see I have my source at the bottom, source National Geographic, a new image, text was changed, items moved around, and I'm magnifying some of the key information on this page. And this is just one of the many ways that you can use Snagit to really save time as you're preparing your lessons. Now, there will be an affiliate link in that description below for both Camtasia and Snagit, which you've just seen in action, and it will give you an additional discount on top of the educational pricing. So make sure that you check out that link in the description below. Now, if you still can't get enough of seeing Snagit in action and you wanna see how you can use it to create visual guides, click on this video right now, where I'll walk you through the entire process of creating visual guides in no time. 
In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.